Henry Fleming, a young soldier, starts out wanting to go to war for glory and honor. He believed that by going through war, he could distinguish himself from others. His mother disagreed with his idea, stating that he would be much more useful on the farm than trying to be a hero. Henry signed up to go, anyway. Henry met many soldiers on the way to war, noticing the veterans would make exaggerated stories of war, much of which were unbelievable. Other soldiers there boasted braveness and bet upon who would run from battle first. Eventually, they approach a battlefield and begin to hear the distant roar of humble. Henry notices that he couldn't even run if he wanted to. All of the other soldiers were packed in like sardines. He had become part of the herd, designed for one purpose, to kill. After surviving the first battle, another soldier asks him where his bullet wound is. Having gotten no injuries to show off his bravery, Henry strives to get his red badge of courage. During the next skirmish, Henry gets nervous, runs away, and gets hit on the head by an ally soldier's gun. When he wakes up in the infirmary with a big gash on his head, he is confronted by the other soldiers, thinking he had been shot. The irony of his situation makes him decide that bravery isn't worth striving for anymore. Henry goes home a stronger-minded person. The Red Badge of Courage influenced anti-war feelings in literature. The Civil War saw technology improvements of weapons far more deadly than weapons in previous wars, and an imminent need for medical innovation. From these conditions, the war caused nearly the same amount of deaths in all of the previous major U.S. wars combined. Thirty years later, in 1895, Stephen Crane wrote and published his novel, basing it off of veterans' experiences in the Civil War. It deviated away from the traditional ways of writing war stories, avoiding political details of the Civil War to focus on the main character's struggle with feelings for and against war. Critics considered it an original work of literature to so accurately portray war. Anti-war thoughts had been growing during the Civil War, the development of the camera brought the harsh reality of war to the civilian population. The New York Drafts Riots in 1863 violently protested against the Enrollment Act of Conscription Plan to draft men into war, remaining the largest civil insurrection in American history aside from the Civil War itself. Since this book's publication, the following decades saw more stories by war veterans discussing their experiences negatively rather than in a glorifying manner. Its early inclusion of moral uncertainty, psychological focus, and imagery is seen in following 20th century American fiction, particularly from the writings of modernists.